Hey there everybody, it's Mike Delicio with another Dice Tower Daily Unboxing. Today we're going to be taking a look at Gatefall, Chapter 1, Fantasy vs. Post-Apocalyptic. Which some huge minis here, because apparently that's actual size. Strategic Miniatures Game of Tactics, Deck Building, and Resource Management. Fast setup, easy to learn, easy to teach, 7 huge figures, and infinite replayability. Well, that's, that's quite a statement. Also, we've got some Kickstarter exclusives I'll show as well. Just keep in mind that depending on what your version of the game is, I'm not exactly sure if this is going to retail or not, but if it is, you may not see everything you're seeing here in your copy. So, just putting that out there. Players will take control of either their fantasy or post-apocalyptic team and use action points to move their figures and defeat enemy characters for victory points. You have arena mode that allows for up to seven players to fight in a battle royale. Okay, let's take a look and see what we have here. It's, I like the art on the, on the cover there. I do like the look of that. They were not kidding about those miniatures. My goodness, those are gigantic. Okay, well, we'll save those for last. Let's look at our player boards here. These are thick cardboard. I gotta tell you, I do like the art style in this. Randar, who has teleportation. Lost Boy, who's got False Sun. And the arena mode is on the back. Firebug is roasted there. Brog has the taunt. Penny has the subwoofer, which is pretty good. Uh, Gildry, golden armor. Exile's got the trick shot. All right. Let's take a look at some cards here. Blessed Armor, Blade of the Betrayer, the Red Glass Blade, Experimental Blaster, the Reaper Axe. Okay, a lot of zeros and ones, twos, and some threes. Heels, upgrades, and then player aid cards. Okay. Looks like we've got our arena here. There's one half. Well, I don't know if it is one half, actually. I, I mean, it may be that these are separate. It kind of looks like it's a half to me. All right. We've got our rule book here. We've got some cardboard tokens that you can see come out quite easily. Let's take a quick look at the rule book. See if we can get a sense for what this game might be about. I'm gonna have to put that in a different way, perhaps like that. That seems to fit better. All right, in team mode. Got our different stats here. Setting up and starting the game. All right, let's see if we do that. Create a zero deck of 13 zeros. Oh, I see, okay, yeah. So it is both sides with that gate in the middle here. Each turn has seven phases. The first phase, okay. Uh, the upgrade, respawn, reveal, action, discard, and draw a new hand of five cards. And it goes into all of those actions in more detail. Shows you how your heroes can respawn, the different actions, allies. The first player to gain seven victory point tokens immediately wins the game. You can play with up to four characters per team, it looks like, if you have extra characters or expansions. Some FAQ and, re and rules explanations or clarifications. And then arena mode, which looks like it plays differently. And a similar FAQ on that. All right, well, let's take a look at what is sure to be a huge aspect of this game, literally and figuratively, and that are these massive miniatures. We've got some wooden action point tokens, and we do have some custom dice, too. They're small, 
but they are engraved custom dice. It looks like the green for the green team and red for the red team. Okay, those are nice. So check out these huge minis. Those are really impressive to my eyes. Now again, I am not a miniatures expert by any means, but I will tell you these to me look tremendous. And I imagine if you were a painter, you could take them to the next level. But I am not hating these miniatures. There's your buddy, the dog. There we go. Kind of a almost a Boba Fett look there. And look at this behemoth. Wow, that is impressive. Very, very impressive. All right, let's see what we've got in these Kickstarter exclusives here. Oh my, we've got more minis, more characters. We've got ghosts that are allies and it looks like they are represented by these tokens here. We've got Celine and Piggy. So let's take a look at Celine and Piggy here. There's Celine, another really impressive miniature. And here is Piggy with a really impressive motorcycle. All right, well, I gotta tell you, I, I, I don't know anything about the game. I don't know the quality of the game, um, really how it plays other than it looks like it's a, a skirmish combat game, but the miniatures are remarkable to my eyes. That is Gatefall. Thank you for watching another Dice Tower Daily Unboxing.